Speaker of the House of Representatives Femi Bajabia Mila on Thursday disclosed that Nigeria recorded 3,700 road accidents in the fourth quarter of the year 2021. Bajabia Mila stated this during a public hearing on a bill for an act to repeal the Nigeria Institute of Transport Technology organized by the House Committee on Transport. The Speaker, who was represented by Deputy Leader of the House, Peter Patterson, said the bill, when passed, will encourage economic diversification and provide investment and employment. No doubt, if this sector is properly utilized and harnessed, the sector can sufficiently sustain the Nigeria economy and liberate us from the current overdependence on oil. Chairman, House Committee on Transport, Tajuddin Abbas, in his remark noted that developing nations have an alarming figure of road mishaps, which stood at about 1.3 million per annum, stressing that Nigeria is not spared of such crashes. We as a nation must wake up if you intend to recognize and be respected in the Committee of Nations. It is therefore imperative that we upgrade and equip the Nigeria Institute of Transport Technology to a world-class institution so that it can compete favorably with other transport institutions. The Minister of State Transport, Bemisola Saraki, while commending the House for organizing the public hearing, appealed that the National Assembly should repeal and reenact the Transport Technology Bill for the overall interest of Nigerians. The Ministry supports the general principle of the bill, which is geared towards ensuring that NITT becomes a more professional, practical and future-driven institution, which will serve as a hub to produce the much-needed manpower in our nation's transport sector. Also, on Thursday, the House urged the Nigerian Petroleum Company Limited to open more petrol depots across the country as part of urgent measures to curb the scarcity of the product. It also called for proper regulation of the operations of private depots that receive supplies from the NPLC only to resell at exorbitant prices to pump stations. The House passed a resolution during plenary after considering a motion moved by Representative Ujo Kingsley on need to establish more petrol depots in Nigeria. The House mandated its Committee on Petroleum Resources Downstream to ensure compliance. Meanwhile, the House has passed for second reading a bill seeking to establish an Entrepreneurship Development Bank of Nigeria. Leading the debate on its general principles, sponsor of the bill, Benjamin Kalu Kalu, stated that the bill seeks to enhance youth access to finances with a view to expressing their natural creativity and technological know-how in providing problem-solving services. He added that, the bill focuses on Nigerian youth and contemplated providing improved access to finance for youth entrepreneurs in innovation, manufacturing, agriculture and trade. Financial inclusion of the youth has a ripple effect in uh, uh, curing poverty and other indices of the SDG. Therefore, if we put a structure in place in line with what the African Development Bank is doing at the moment, where they announced that at the end of this month, they are opening about 13 um, uh, youth entrepreneurship development bank across Africa. And Nigeria and Ghana happen to be those that be benefiting from it.